placement series, I showed you how easily you can just take a gray Sharpie marker and outline the outer edges of the early 2000s Amfleet passenger cars to mimic the current more realistic modern day production of MTH Amtrak Amfleet passenger cars with the existing extruded aluminum attachments at the end. But today, I'm gonna to show you how to add realistic interior detail to your MTH Amtrak Amfleets through painting the seats blue and even adding that special white pillow onto the top of the seat by just adding a little touch of white paint. And I'll also show you how I add figures onto the seats after I paint them. So let's get started with Amfleet Enhancement number two. Okay, welcome to a zoomed out view of my workbench. As you can see in front of you, I have another Amfleet car waiting for an upgrade. And by default, each MTH Amfleet passenger car from the older early 2000s run, whether it's the Phase 4 livery or the Mark livery or any other fantasy livery for that matter, they do not come pre-interior detailed. As you can see, if you're looking in the interior, the seats are just plain gray and there are no figures in them. Now, the newer MTH Amfleets, whether it's the Capstones or the Phase 6 livery or any other livery for that matter that's released today made by Atlas or MTH, they most likely do come with figures already installed, but the seats are not painted as well. All right, so the first step in detailing your Amphly is to remove the underbody screws from the passenger car chassis from the actual passenger car itself. Now with the older run of MTH Amfleets, there are a whopping eight screws that you have to remove in order to ac access the interior of the passenger car. So let me go ahead and do that now and I'll see you in the next frame. Okay, once the underbody chassis is removed from the car, you're gonna need to remove a couple other things with the passenger car in order to access this plastic seating area right here. So let me show you that right now. The first thing is this plastic peg piece holding some electrical spring pickups from the chassis. Carefully slide it off its peg and then disconnect the attached wire harness. Next, there are two screws holding the physical end of the car to its body. Remove those two screws and move the end section off to the side. Alrighty, almost there. So after you've removed the end piece and the two screws that go along with the end piece, it's time to actually slide the passenger car diaphragm plastic body out. So for this step, you need to remove the wire harness away from the plastic underbody that slides and also disconnect the other end's wire harness from the car's circuit board. Then all that's left to do is just slide that seating area out and then you're ready to paint. For this enhancement, I'm using CSX Blue for the seats themselves and a standard white for the cloths and pillows. Also get some super glue ready and two paintbrushes. Now it's time to paint. I completed one base coat on the seats and a few different tries on making the cloths look truly square. I first did a rough coat of white to where I think the cloths would normally rest in real life and then went back and straightened out the edges with blue many times over. The last step is to add figures. I don't fill too many window seats, which minimizes the risk of the figures becoming dislodged inside the car. After that, all that's left is assembling the car back together and enjoying a newly detailed interior. Thank you very much for watching part two in the Amfleet Enhancement series, and be sure to hit that subscribe and like buttons, which really help out the channel. For now, enjoy some more Amtrak run buys with both Lionel and MTH equipment. Thank you for watching once again. I'm Zach, and I'll see you next time.